Okay. Hi, right, here we go. Uh, Castles of Mad King Ludwig um, from Ted Alspach, the designer. The same guy behind the uh, very successful Suburbia game, which has had some uh, expansions as well now. And got on the radar straight away because quite a unique looking tile game, tile placement game. It's got option bidding and tile placement. Um, based on the the Mad King Ludwig, uh, who built the castles in Bavaria or something, didn't he? And um, the one that the Walt Disney uh, fairy castles taken off, isn't it? Of uh, one of Mad King Ludwig's castles, or so they say. So it's published by Bezier Games. I've not got any titles by Bezier Games yet, so this is the first. Plays one to four in approximately 90 minutes. And it's got art by Keith Curtis and Olin Tim. So plays uh, between one to four players, so you can even play it solo, that's quite neat, uh, in approximately 90 minutes. So there we go, that's this unique uh, lion out uh, building a castle with all different weird and wonderful rooms and stuff. And so subject matter is very interesting and quite unique, so let's have a look. So we've got a standard sized square box, good quality, it's got a nice finish to it, and it's a sturdy box as well. So there's the front, the castles, and then we look in the box and there's a lot of air. <laughs> I didn't expect that, but there is a lot of air in the box. Okay, so the box is quite oversized. Um, small deck of cards here, another deck of cards. A nice starting player piece with a, a wooden castle, which is very nice. And of course the player colours of red, blue, yellow and green standard player colours there. And the silica gel. So now we go for the rule book. Uh, let's have a look at this actually. So decent size. Um, nice smooth finish on the, on the rule book itself. So we've got the contents here. Set up. Oh, and it's actually a fold out rule book. Um, and we got uh, room placements, game ends. So, rules wise, not that heavy. Uh, certainly does not appear to be. And come on to the back, and it's got King's Favours, bonus cards, so back solo game, advertising the Suburbia game. So, real, all, all told, there's actually about three, three of these large pages of rules. And then some incidentary stuff. So, yeah, shouldn't be too bad on the on the learning curve. So, we get into the box itself, and here we have the punch board sheets. So, it punches really nice. I can feel that because the stuff's just pushing out cleanly. Now somebody mentioned about the quality of these that they were surprised at how thin the card was and so I wasn't sure what to expect. These, this card here is absolutely fine. The reason I say that, it's that, I don't know if you can tell that, it's that brittle card. So it's like almost like the uh, Agricola, nice quality. We played that game tons and tons and tons of times and it's still perfect. So it's that hard brittly card, not the soft pliable stuff. Um, so it's nice and compressed, compact. And we've had real thick card and it's no good it's, it's no better quality because it, it actually separates. This is the nice thick uh, compressed stuff. So really good. It should hold nice and flat to the table, which is what you want if you're building a, a castle. Um, you don't want things curling up. So entrances after match up to entrances, don't they? And you can build all these wonderful castles. Really liking the look of it so far. So there's one punch sheet, a lot of pieces there. And there's the back, there must be scoring points on the back. There's one sheet, another sheet here. Lovely colors, lovely detail to the, to the, um, the, to the castle pieces. Got hallways and uh, observatories, grand bed chamber, terrace garden, secret lair. Just pull one of those out. 
have a look. So, and and absolutely pristine centered punching. Um, so nothing's offset. So even as you can see, absolutely perfect all the way round. It's not, the, the printing is not offset at all, which is really nice. You know, it, it's it's a shame when stuff gets offset. So looking really good. We go for another punch sheet here. Nice use of colours. There we go. A further punch sheet. So although the box looked like it had a lot of airing, there's actually a lot of stuff here. That's a lot of tokens there, isn't it? A heck of a lot. And we're not finished yet. So this is part of the game board, and I think this is the auction track stuff, isn't it? Some really nice, uh, very striking black circular t uh, tiles there. We've got a further punch sheet here, be for card decks and stuff, and for the tiles placement. And finally, on the punch board sheets, you've got this deck. And again, right the way through, I mean, that's nice, isn't it? Right the way through, everything nice and centralised, and pops out nice and easy. These haven't even got nibs on them, it's just real smooth, good quality. Uh, come to this little punch bag punch bag, little ziplock bag I should say. So the player piece is as good as you'd want isn't it? You know that is really nice and of course you could paint that any colour you wanted if you wanted to or even do a proper paint job on it but as it is it's really nice in the white. There's the player discs and now we come up, the last thing is the um, couple of card decks. So we get this deck here. These are the miniature sized cards which I'm fine with. The less table space uh, that they take up. And the cards are real good quality. Very very good quality. Nice and thick. Uh, embossed um, with like a plastic coating. Uh, very good quality cards. They look nice and clear concise information on them large writing and numbers which is a good plus for people uh, more senior players it's it's always good to see things like that or indeed colour blind um, when stuff's large and quite different so we come into this deck here They're all marked the same on the back, and there we go. These must be see, uh, points, I guess, or not read the rules to the game. So there we go. That's an awful lot of stuff there, really, even though deceptively, in the box itself, um, nice, nice box art on the back, actually, that wraps around. Um, yeah, in the box itself it doesn't look a lot, but once it's all punched and sorted, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff there and it's of really good quality, I will say that. So that is The Castles of Mad King Ludwig by Desia Games, um, designed by Ted Elspach. Thanks for watching.